Hey Bales, welcome back to the Spine Tips for Game Maker Studio series. Today's tip will be using the Spine software, and more specifically, I'll be using Spine version 2.1.27, since I found this to be the latest version of Spine still working with Game Maker Studio, so what I'm going to show you should also be working in newer versions of Spine. In today's tip, I will show you how to duplicate the mesh of one attached image, with weights and everything, and reuse it in another image. It is actually quite easy to do. First, you find the mesh attachment in your tree view. If the image you want to cover the mesh from is inside a skin placeholder, move it out of it temporarily. This is because skin placeholders can only contain one image each, which would stop us from making a copy from it. Then you simply duplicate the meshed image. You can move the original image back to its skin placeholder now. Change the name of the new duplicated attachment to something more fitting for a project. Now, the next thing we want to do is changing the path of the image this new attachment displays. Just find the name of the wanted image in your images list. Change the path to refer to that name instead, and the meshed image will update its content. You can then place this new, also meshed image where you need it to be. The new mesh will react to the same bones as the original mesh. But there is a small caveat if you're not using images of the same size. If your new image is of a different size than the originally meshed image, the new image will be stretched to fit the mesh, as you see it here where the torso does not have its closed flaps, thus it's stretched vertically. This can be circumvented, but you'll have to wait for my next video for the solution, since it gets slightly more technical. Hope you found this video valuable, and if so, please show by giving it a thumb up. Until next time, bye!